Hello, this is War Weasel. Uh, welcome back. I am made a bit of progress, and I know it hasn't been very long since my last video, but I feel like I've gotten a great deal done, and I wanted to show that off. Uh, first, uh, let's start with my uh, two characters here. Uh, same mannequin, but these are actually two very, very different characters. This one here is the third-person uh, character from the third person tutorial or uh, template, the third person template. And this one is the advanced locomotion system uh, character. And uh, uh, for some reason, I colored them, uh, you know, pink and blue. I guess what Snowflake and Safe Space is the, uh, the new, new Marvel heroes. Well, anyway, enough said about that. Right now, I can pop this up, and there we go. I can go in, I can pull out my gun, there we go. Put my gun back, get the rifle out. Oh, don't like that. Go back to just my hands. Or if I want a sword, there we go. And I can just jump over here, open the door. The sword animation is a little slow for that, but that's not a problem with the code. There we go. And so let me pop another weapon in there. That'll work. And then here we go. Beep, 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 beep. And uh, that's what I have working right now. So pretty much most of my code is working. I'm not going to work with the aim on the third person template because I'm going to use that as the uh, template for my NPCs. And uh, I don't need to do a lot of uh, dark work that no one will ever see because no one's ever going to play as an NPC. So let me pop out of here. All right. Now all I have to do is get rid of Snowflake there. And now I can pop back in. And using pretty much the same code with the advanced locomotion system, I now have a lot more going on. He can pick up stuff. He can do a lot of the, most of the same stuff. Interactions, there we go. Grabbing weapons. Unfortunately, I don't have his animations all set up quite yet. But I did want to show that... Oh! Looks like I had a bit of a problem there. Alright, let's see if... Heh! Alright. Looks like I'm having some slight issues here, but uh, nothing I can't fix. As you can see, just uh, a few animation uh, glitches, but that's because I haven't messed with the animation blueprint at all. Uh, so, pretty good so far. Part of what I wanted to talk about today was how I have everything set up, and I am using uh, class hierarchies, uh, components, and interfaces together to... Uh, pretty much just take an entirely new character and put all of my interaction code into that very quickly. Um, what, 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 what is this? Okay, inventory, no, that goes away. So anyway, what I have found work that works is for most things, I want to use uh, cl a class hierarchy. So anything that's an interactable is from the interactable class. So let's just uh, pick up a, uh, let's go to one of the weapons, assault rifle pickup. And this is just a data, data class. 
so no changes in code between it and its parent, which is the weapon pickup. The weapon pickup is based on an interactable pickup. which is a kind of interactable, which is the interactable base. And the heart of all of this is the uh, interact function, which lets me uh, get the, uh, the uh, animation pair that's required to interact with it. Um, but this way, anything that's interactable I don't need to know what it is right away, uh, but anything can check to see if it's an interactable base type. And if so, we know that we can interact with this actor. And all the other work, all the other more specific stuff, whether or not it's an interactable pickup, whether or not it's a weapon pickup, which is a type of interactable pickup, I just keep layering the extra code on there. and. Uh, I don't need to rewrite that code uh, and whatever I'm doing just at the time the object responds appropriately. There's only a couple of places where I need to check what kind of object it is and really that's only uh, in the inventory system so I know where to put it. Here if I look at my interaction component actually jump back here's my uh, ALS base character advanced locomotion system and I have interaction component, weapon component, inventory component. If I go to my third person character again I have my interaction component, inventory component, and weapon component. I also have a physical animation but I'm not using that quite yet. So these two, two different characters are using the same components to interact with uh, this hierarchy of interactable objects. In order to make that possible, I use a thing called, here we are, interfaces. And I only have two that I care about. There's the ALS interface, but that's transparent to me. I'm not doing much with it. But I have my character interface which both the ALS base character has. So if I look at the interfaces, I can look at them here and look at the functions, or I can go up here and say, okay, character interface and the ALS interface. My third person character here only has the uh, character interface. But this way I can just, let's say in the player controller, the controller doesn't need to know anything about the character itself, just that they implement this, this interface, this character interface. And I do something similar with the animation blueprint uh, for my interaction animations. Uh, I don't want to get too deep into that right now, but what I found is that these three things work really well together like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, uh, I haven't had to add much code to my ALS base character in order to get it to do all the functionality from my third person character. Uh, I'm sure I'll get into this deeper, but it's one of those things that uh, the epiphany just kind of happened and I wanted to get it uh, get it recorded so that I remember it and uh, just you know for a quick run around I can run around I can this guy can sprint and then when he's done sprinting he can do that and then grab stuff and then I can grab my grab my weapons and run around this one has the really nice uh, inverse kinematics so you can see his feet are are placed nicely here so it's all really coming together and uh, well
hopefully I should have a lot more to show you uh, pretty soon. Thank you again for watching.